H-A-T-E. It was with this left hand that old brother Cain struck the blow that laid his brother low. L-O-V-E. You see, these fingers, dear hearts, these fingers has veins that run straight to the soul of man. The right hand, friends, the hand of love. Now watch and I'll show you the story of life. There are plenty of films about innocence and depravity, about the battle between good and evil, but there's nothing like Night of the Hunter, the first and only film directed by Charles Lawton. Left hand hates a fighting, and it looks like love's a goner. But wait a minute. The movie was a critical and commercial failure when it first came out, and though its reputation has grown over time, its weirdness is undiminished. It's a hybrid of a folk tale and a film noir, but true to its own vivid and haunting reality. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus, leaning on Jesus. Night of the Hunter tells the story of two young children in Depression-era West Virginia, menaced by Harry Powell, a homicidal preacher played by Robert Mitchum. The children are played by Sally Jane Bruce and Peter Graves, and though they're sweet and vulnerable, they're never overly cute or precious. She had two pretty children. Shelley Winters is pretty amazing in what would become a familiar kind of role for her, playing the children's widowed mother. Pathetic, needy, naive, sexually frustrated, not very bright, and ultimately heartbreaking. I never told you throw it in the river. Finally, there's Lillian Gish, one of the great movie stars of the silent era, playing the children's only protector. She'll be losing her mind to a tricky mouth and a full moon, and like as not, I'll be saddled with the consequences. The screenplay, based on a novel by Davis Grubb, was written by James Agee, film critic and novelist, and he infused it with memories of his own idiosyncratic Southern childhood. <laughs> The director, Charles Lawton, who was also one of the great character actors of the era, filmed this very American story with a look borrowed from German Expressionism. Night of the Hunter combines many disparate elements and moods. It's grotesque, it's funny, it's loaded with Freudian symbolism, and it's absolutely terrifying. Sleep. You can analyze it from a distance which might bring some comfort, but while you're watching this movie, you're like a child in the grip of a nightmare. Wake up. Come on, girl. 